I just wanted to throw up a little video here to further explain the rule of thirds to give you a visual of what I just went over in the online class. So as you can see, this is split up into the grid of what your rule of thirds will look like. If you did it in your phone, this is how it would come up. This won't be in the final picture or in the print or anything, it's just a guideline. As you can see, it's split into the three sections, hence the rule of thirds. There's nine blocks or nine sections. Three on top, three in the middle, and three in the bottom. Now, these cross sections here, these four points, are where you want to put your subjects. So as you can see, I have him over here pretty much coming through both these two. That's fine if it goes through two or three all at once, but you don't want to do is have this happen in your picture, your subjects right smack dab in that center square. That's where you want to avoid putting stuff in. It's okay if it overlaps it in a little bit. Sometimes scooching it over a little bit gives it more dynamic. That's the point of the rule of thirds. And you want to stay down here in this lower part, right, like this. You don't want to go up here. You can, but you got to be careful because then you got it, most of your picture is going to be what's ever in these two bottom rows, and you might get boring old grass or pavement or something like that. So you have to be really cautious of that. You can put it in the upper thirds, but you want to stay in that lower bottom right here. Kind of makes a U, and stick to your crosshairs. So you can go up here in these top two, that's fine, especially if you're taking a picture of a bird. That's one thing that would look really good in your upper thirds generally stick to these areas. So if you can figure out how to turn this on in your phone, I put directions for Android and iPhone, um, but you can do a quick, easy Google search on how to turn that on. There's no way to do it in Google Photo. Um, or you can eyeball it and just make sure, however you're taking your picture, you're not putting stuff right there in the middle. So it's just a little bit of a further explanation of rule of thirds.